promise. I told you there would come a day when I would come to you on my own. Dear God. Thank you. Nobody understood. They all thought I was keeping them at a distance. I didn't dare tell them what I was doing. You see, every day I'd have between 10 and 12. And then I'd rest and roast to bring me my lunch. And then I'd have the three hours in the afternoon. And I'd work. I'd work really hard. And then, well, every time I mastered something, I just kept thinking about how proud you'd be of me. And then the day came. When I stood up and I took all the clothes out of my own closet, I mean, I must have cried for half an hour. <laughs> it was just the beginning. Then you never said a word. No. I just didn't want anybody to be disappointed but me. You know, I just... The night that you were sentenced, that was the turning point. What happened? Well, I couldn't sleep. So I thought I'd get up and I'd walk down to the living room. And I did. And by the time I got there, my legs and my back were burning. It hurt. But I made my way to the door and I went out to the garden, and I fell. And it was okay, because I knew, I mean, I really knew that this day was gonna come. Nothing I have ever done compares with what you've done for me. Oh, you know what, it's not... There are thousands and thousands of people out there who deserve more close Don't, don't, don't question it, baby. People get what they're given, not what they're, deser they're deserving of. The best we can do is be thankful. Listen, now, Kane knows about this, and Lionel does, but he's not going to say anything. And Keith, when he goes looking for me, is going to look for someone in a wheelchair. He's watching the house. That's the one thing I hate about this. It was wrong to involve your family. What's to keep Keith from charging you all with aiding and abetting? He's not going to do it. He can rant and rave all he wants, but he's not going to find any evidence. Oh, me of little faith. Let me be happy first. You know, it might get cold in here tonight. You might need another blanket. Do you have one around here? Yeah, but you forgot to pack my bathrobe and my slippers. Oh. Well, I just think I might as well go home and get it. Mm. And I'll bring the TV and the popcorn, and uh, we'll just move in. How much popcorn? Well, we can spear some fish. With what? Did you pack your high heels? <laughs> You know, I'm kind of serious. Could bring the yacht out here, 
bring a boat. Get ya. Escape. I couldn't ask that of you. Maybe I'm asking you. I love you. Mm. I love you. That's not what this is about. This is about finding Elena's killer so that I can prove it wasn't me. That's what this is about. I just keep thinking it would be better if we waited until some of the pressure was off. Well, you know Keith and I know Keith. He's gonna be watching you and your family day and night until something gives. We gotta work fast and we gotta work smart. But you can't do anything. I know. I can't do a damn thing. My life is in your hands. I can't think of a better place for it. What do you want me to do? Well, something's been bothering me. What? The man that Pamela saw that night? Well, that, yeah, that too. But, but, but leaving him out of it, it's all too pat. If I was the jury, I'd think I did it too. I mean, look at the cuff link that was discovered at her place, the, 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 the single letter in the safe deposit box. It's, it's too tight. It's like a noose. Yeah, around the wrong neck. But we've already been through this. I mean, who'd want to frame you? I think, I, I think we, should, we should think in terms of who was close enough to her to know her mind. I mean, who knew what she wanted from me and couldn't get and knew that I would be such an easy setup? The father, Dr. Nicholas. No. I don't think so. I don't think he knew much more about it than the rest of us did, to tell you the truth. And in any case, he wouldn't have killed her baby. Possibly have committed her as well. Well, maybe she left something behind, an address book or something. Yeah, that would be a good place to start. Let's find out. I imagine he took possession of her stuff. We should trace her back as far as we can. But it ain't gonna be easy, because most of what we knew about her is a lie. You cold? No. I just feel like somebody's breathing down my neck from her grave. The longer you're gone, the harder it's gonna be to satisfy Keith. To hell with Keith. I hate feeling like every time I leave you, it's gonna be the last time I see you. I know, I know, I know. I just feel like I have to cram everything I want to say into you in, in one single moment, dare I let you out of my sight. No, I know, I know the feeling, but I'm, I'm here to tell you it's a lost cause. Have you ever noticed how, how ever since you, you came back to me, ever since uh, Utah, I can't go to work in the mornings? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out of the bathroom covered with shaving cream. I'm, I'm taking 15 minutes to put on my shoes. I'm, I'm talking all the time, racking my brain for what else, you know? What else should I say to this woman now? Because God knows everything could change in a minute, and I may never get another chance. But it doesn't, you see, as soon as I step outside the door or I get to work, I think of 12 more things that I didn't say. You can't cover it. It's too big. I don't know what brought that up. <laughs> We're gonna be all right. It just feels like the world's narrowing down to just the two of us working together. But I think it's a company thought. Mm -hmm. All right, now let me swim back with you now. I don't want to go crazy worrying how you're gonna account for the time. You don't have to swim back with me. I don't want to go crazy worrying about that either. You're already crazy, so you don't need to worry. To come home? No, I thought it over. I don't think that will be possible. I um, won't be in my office tomorrow, so you'll have to find another place to hold the meeting. I see, so I should come home tomorrow. Not at all. There's uh, so much time and energy being spent on the project. Keith's looking for me? Well, that would be an understatement. So I think the meeting has to be moved. You mean I should go somewhere else? Exactly. OK, well, um, I'll go to the Orient Express. I'll stay there, and I'll just wait until someone finds me and then play dumb. Good. Excellent. I'll, I'll be anxious to see what you come up with. Let me say this, too. I think you, uh, you deserve the highest recommendation. Careful. I might want to raise. Good night. I'll see you. Harvey, that's clear. Oh, I'll delete it. Okay. Um, okay, now or never, right? Yeah, yeah, the address book. Yeah, I'll get it, I'll bring it back, 
if there is one. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Well, miss, goodbye to you. I'd go with you. I cannot tell you how insulting I find that. I mean, here we find Kane burrowing into the woodwork in the guest house, and what does he say? He says he's out for a stroll in the garden. Then Eden vanishes in a puff of smoke and leaves me a bogus tape recording behind her. What's her excuse? She had an irresistible urge to go to the restaurant to check the books. I cannot wait to hear how you explain the rhododendrons blowing up. I mean, what was that? What, Mexican fertilizer? <laughs> Maybe we don't think we have to explain. Maybe we wanted to insult you. Maybe. Daddy, uh, did you show him the letter? What letter? What are you talking about, darling? Daddy, I really think you should show him the letter. There's really no way around it. Around what? Cece, she's right. Show him the letter, please. It does not go further than his room. The phone call started about a week ago. They said if it went on, that no one would get out alive. Die, industrialist pig? Come on. I mean, even terrorists are more creative than this. I told you I shouldn't okay. have shown it to him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look, let's suppose it is real. Suppose that some crazy people called you up threatening to barbecue your wedding guests. Why didn't you call the cops? Well, oh, this is certainly not the first time it's happened. That's right, and publicity is just what they want. I will not allow people to think that they can uh, paralyze me at will. That's why I hired a security force. Well, then how do you explain this? I dug this up in the garden. What is it? Oh, gee. Don't you know? Looks sort of like a remote control device to me. No, you think it detonated? What would you do in the service, anyway? Seems to me you were an incendiary expert. Dad, I lost my... Hi, sweetheart. What did you lose? I'll tell you what. You go back upstairs to bed, and I'll be up and find whatever you lost in a minute, okay? <laughs> Uncle Keith, where'd you get that? Brandon. That man is not your uncle. Would you go to bed? Brandon, uh, have you seen this before? Yeah, it's the thing that works with my TV, the remote control. Give it back. You're always taking my stuff. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> this is not the end of this! Wait a minute. This isn't mine. Uh, Brandon. Yeah, why don't we keep that just between the two of us, huh? Come on over here. Let me let me explain this to you. <laughs> Eden. Yes. Yeah. What did you call me? An industrialist pig? There's a cold breeze. Must be a fog coming in. He's all righty. Why are you doing this? All of this? Helping me, helping Cruz. I think you know why. I didn't, but I guess I do now. Oh, please, let's not start getting all weird, okay? <laughs> well, this is easy for me. I, I like to do it, so let me, okay? I tell you, if I ever find a woman who loves me the way you love him, you to be here when he's out there, isn't it? Yes. That's the way it's got to be for a while. I know, I'm just not very good at it. Ask me anything but to stay away.
ない。